What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read-throughs of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T B R Terabyte Reacts, and I would just like to say, you are welcome. Welcome back, guys, to another edition of my Ajime no Ippo read through manga read throughs, and I know it's been a while, guys. I know. It's I know it's been a while, I promise you guys that I would do this twice a month, um, but you know, Christmas, New Year's happened, so <clears throat> deep into the year, well not deep into the year, but 20 days into um, January, and yeah man, I'm feeling it, I'm ready to come back to the manga grind, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try my best to do this twice a month, I'm gonna try my best, I can promise you that I am going to do it consistently twice a month but i'm gonna try to at least do it once a month okay so um it's on the schedule for twice a month um so i really do as i said nothing everything on my schedule is subject to change because i can't promise you guys that i'm going to do you know a, a certain series or a certain show or whatever like you know i'll try my best to get the episodes out but if i miss you know a week or so you know, there's no need for you guys to come at me and stuff like that, um, which none of you don't. You, you don't really come at me, you know, you just, you check and you realize, hey, it's not there. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, some people will go on my other videos and ask me, you know, when they're going to get certain things. Um, you know, I think this week somebody had, you know, commented on one of my videos and saying, where are the Ippo reactions? Or they said, R.I.P. Ippo, <laughs> Ippo read-throughs. You know, and I told him that Ippo would return in its glory this weekend. Guys, the series ain't going nowhere, okay? The manga ain't going nowhere. We are going to have the access, okay? Just have to be patient. You know, I do things outside of YouTube, and sometimes it coincides with what I'm doing. YouTube is not, you know, I don't do YouTube for a living, okay? It's, it's at this point. It's something I'm trying to build into, you know, something I can do for a living. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get to that threshold where I'm making a decent amount of money out of YouTube where I can say, hey, I can just sit here all day and do read-throughs and reactions for you guys. So I'm working up to that. It's going to take some time. It might take years. Who knows? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the pace of where my channel is going because... I don't have the time to, you know, edit and do all this other stuff to put my stuff on YouTube unless it's music. And music is something that I definitely need to get back to on the channel because it's really the only thing I can post on the channel outright without worrying about anything else. You get what I'm saying? Because everything else you got to cut up and put all kinds of streaks in the video and opacity change and all of this other stuff, which is something I can do don't get me wrong it's just that it takes up more time and you know one of the things that if if you you have to find a balance between what you're doing you can't just throw other things to the side for something that not even bringing you in any money you get what I'm trying to say like you're just trying to to grow and I'd rather grow take my time and grow off of what I am doing rather than change it up to have faster growth you get what I'm saying? Because when you have faster growth and there's no income coming in and it's taking up more of your time to get that faster growth, it just doesn't balance out very well. And the thing about it is that, you know, I'd rather take my time and ease into it. You know what I'm saying? Because then as the channel grows, the demand is going to get higher. And I know I'm going to have to eventually switch from the Google Drive because when you put out a video and you know thousands of people wants to watch it 
at once the google drive is just not going to cut it and i know that that day is going to come so i am being i'm prepping myself for it um because by that time i think i might have to um find a better way or somewhere else to put my full reactions um i might just i, I don't know what i'm going to do yet but i'll figure it out but in any ways for ippo for ippo for ippo we know that our boy aoki is fighting right now he's about to start a fight you know <laughs> these guys are so funny to the point where you, you <laughs> you're just like you you want to see them fight but you also don't want to see them fight because boxing is such a serious sport and you know they can provide entertainment no doubt you know um but you still want to see what happens um and to do the way how this series is going right now like the fight i want to see you know what i'm saying it, you know the fight i want to see is ippo versus miata um that's the fight i want to see i don't know if it's ever going to happen even though it's set that they are going to fight right now but we know that miata you know broke his hand you know what I'm saying? He, he literally broke his hand to win the fight, so they had to postpone um, the matchup. So I don't know if uh, I don't I don't remember if they said that Ippo is gonna have to fight before he fights Miata, but I don't I think it's being put off. Um, but we'll see how things go. Anyways, we're gonna jump into these read throughs. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Don't forget to leave a like if you're watching this on YouTube. Don't forget to leave a like. I know it's not outright on YouTube. For you guys to watch most of you guys do go and watch the uncensored version on the google drive but hey we're here appreciate you guys so let's go let's go watch let's go read some ippo manga okay here we go here we go all right so we got okay the mastermind all right come and get it papa <laughs> I can take whatever you dish out at me. All I've got to do is tire you out enough. Yeah, but that might not be the strategy this time around because last time, you know, he Papaya had strategy issues. Um, <clears throat> right? He had what I'm talking about? Strategy issues, <laughs> stamina issues, right? He isn't putting his guard up. It's obvious he's inviting him in. So you want to fight it out right from the start? Proof that you haven't built your stamina up? What is this weird sensation, though? Something's wrong. He doesn't have his guard up. What is that freakishly ripped arm? You mean to tell me that instead of overcoming his weakness, he's only focused on improving the coconut punch? Bruh, why? <laughs> this is one of his arm. <laughs> One of his arm is bigger than the other. I didn't even notice that. So he decided to ignore his, his shortcoming and build up his best ability. There's no way I can absorb that. Even if I block that. If I get hit with that ultimate muscle, I'm going to be out cold. <laughs> uh, okay, so he rushes in. No, he doesn't rush in. The pressure got to him, I can tell. The coconut punch was already dangerous enough, but now he's seen that arm and... Don't bore us to death, Hawkey. He's not guarding, so duke it out. Yeah, you're not seeing that arm. <laughs> Hurry up and take the pace. We didn't come to see no steering contest. How can you be scared of a guy who doesn't block? Be a man about it. <laughs> Bunch of ignorant fools. Quit yelling like you know what's going on in here. If I make the first move and get hit with a, with a right counter, I'm dead. <laughs> it's like, you, you asshole, getting cocky on me. I'm not going to get suckered into it. <laughs> he, he backing up. It's like, what was that? Don't wuss out on us. Like, just shut up. Don't be a chicken shit. <laughs> you call yourself a man? <laughs> Your opponent wants to fight, so stick it to him. <laughs> Ooh, 
He hit him with the jab. It's like, wow. Figures he's run for it. You bastard. <laughs> you coward. This is the shittiest match ever. Give us our money back. <laughs> you ain't no real man. Dickless bastard. The big eared guy has already won this. <laughs> this isn't a game of tag. Get out of here. <laughs> That's some cheering. I'm really surprised Aoki-san can stand all this. Yeah. Ah. Point deduction. For who? Aoki, I'm deducting a point. For what? And if you keep this up, I'll have to deduct more. What? Why is he deducting a point from Aoki? <laughs> Way to go, ref. Take off 10 while you're at it. You made the right call. If you want to fight, you deserve to lose. <laughs> if you don't want to fight, you deserve to lose. Okay. Yeah, why don't you why don't you just lose? This match sucks big time. I'm going to go use the toilet. <laughs> uh, why don't you all shut the fuck up <laughs> and stop being so damn uptight? The same goes to you too. Don't be so fucking cocky. Why is Aoki in the air? Whoa. Aoki-san's finally snapped. Oh. Mother. Damn. He blocked it, though. He blocked it so he didn't take it full force. Damn. He got knocked into next Tuesday. Look at him. Upside down. Is that the moment he was waiting for? The coconut punch! <laughs> what a devastating down! He made him flip over. He flew across the ring and landed head first. That could have killed him. It did look deadly. Masaru! <laughs> He's got killer power. It's no good. He can't stand after all. Okay, he's up. Hey, he's got some guts. That's the bell. Whoa. He was saved by the bell. I mean, didn't Aoki throw a punch? I'm still puzzled by why he lost the point. I guess because he was running, he was, um, like, just running around in circles and wasn't, like, approaching the fight. Because I know you can get, you can lose points by, you know, not fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're just, you know running in in the ring not necessarily facing your opponent and and, and stuff like that it, it, the referee can do it but in most situations the referees is not going to do that you get what i'm saying because you know fight may be boring but i'm pretty sure how Oki threw a jab you know what i'm saying didn't he throw a jab at one point so i'm saying that was just a bit it was just a bit weird because referees don't normally do that but who was it who was the one who was saved? Huh. That down was a lot flashier than it was effective. And the expression on his opponent's face. Final round. And they tired. <laughs> He's sweating bullets. He didn't run for nine rounds because he was scared of him. He made him chase him for 27 minutes to get him tired. <laughs> And that's why he was able to withstand the booing and his opponent's goading. Watcha! <laughs> Boom. Okay, Aoki coming with, with the comeback. His opponent has no strength to come back. It's all Aoki-san's game now. Wow, he's down. What's going on? Why is he so strong all of a sudden? <laughs> But we're in the final round now. He's betting it all on the last three minutes. Well, that's true. All right, next chapter. He's betting it all on the last three minutes. The vast distant world. These seasoned veterans sure are scary. You bet. He's going to get up. Finish him off, Aoki. Even if you can stand up. I have nothing left to fear from you because right now you're nothing but a piece of broccoli. <laughs> Box. 
Do it, yeah. <laughs> you gonna do the frog punch? Ooh! <laughs> Hit him with the frog punch. Hell yeah! He's down again. Is it finally over? It's a comeback KO! So, you couldn't get three downs in the last round, and then the decision was a draw? <laughs> <laughs> I can't with these matches, bro. Like, it, it just fast forward through them. It's just like, I've got no excuse. You can think of me as a fool who hasn't made any progress at all. Well, it should be obvious to anyone who looked close enough how hard you were trying out there. That's no joke. Hey, what's up? What's going on with Kimura? Is he like down on himself because he can't win a, win a match? It's like, you're acting all weird and shit. Right. It really is obvious for one to see. Kimura-san. Hey. If you want to see Aoki, he's back in the locker room. You guys really did good. Those were definitely veteran fights. Things didn't turn out the way that I wanted them to. Kimura. But see now, as I didn't necessarily lose the match, I guess it's all good. Yeah, that's true. Oh, they're getting ready for the fight before the main event. Okay. The challenger for the world title, Ishii Yuta from the bantamweight class. Makarauchi. Yes, we're counting on you. Please take the world title. Okay, so this is the main event? Okay. You're talking like it's just me, but you should be in the same exact position here soon enough. I'll be waiting for you there. D do your best. Let's go. Yeah, the belt is ours. Yeah. <laughs> he sure was calm about it. It's like, of course he was. He's a veteran like me. The only difference is he won't let it end in a draw. A title challenger has to win, or there's no point. I'm sure he'll win. He'll be able to do this. Okay, everybody's cheering on Ishii. Okay, uh, first time I think they mentioned him. I didn't even remember that there was a main event for this match. Has the World Bantamweight title match started yet? Looks like Ishii's gonna win this one, don't it? I mean, after 28 fights... He's undefeated with 20 KOs. Oh, nice record. Another fellow countryman is going to be a world champion. We can't take our eyes off this one. Oh, damn. I don't even know who's winning. Who's winning? It looks like... Hold on. Did he win? Or did he lose? The second round? Just two minutes and seven seconds? To think this was the same Ishisan who went undefeated in all the Orient. He was annihilated in just five minutes. The world, it's huge. It's still far off. Well, all that hype for nothing. I'll be waiting for you there. I'm definitely not ready yet. I still have a long way to go. This is called Hisatsu, and it means instant death. What is Takamura talking about? Eat this. <laughs> Yo. The beastly man. Yo. First round, 247. He kicked his ass in under three minutes. That guy isn't human, I tell you. This easy match really shows how Takamura-san is a man above the stars. He's truly incredible. That Takamura really is something. Yes. Boxing in Japan will always stay exciting as long as he's around. But in another way, it makes me worried. I wonder why. I never would have guessed that Ishii would get 
beaten so easily in his match tonight. He was a hopeful who had no real competition at the national level. Or the Pacific region either. That's true. It's scary how big a difference there is at the world level. The only fighter who has a world title in the country is Takamura. But if he were to somehow lose the belt, then the fire of the Japanese boxing world will be put out. That fire just can't go out, but the world's still a far off place. Okay. I mean, it's time. It's time, you know what I mean? It, it's, I, I want Ippo to take that step, but this, this matchup right here, bruh, this matchup right here, that's what we need to, to see, man. Fox Hunt complete. Takamura Almighty. Challengers hopes are completely crushed within one round. Nice headline. Damn it. Both the cover and the feature are about Takamura. <laughs> and our coverage was so damn small. You'll need a magnifying glass to read it. <laughs> Big deal. World class matches always get much more coverage. It's like, what the fuck? Takamura only fought for one damn round. We were in for the whole 10. No matter how you slice this, we definitely worked harder. <laughs> he should have shown them a more memorable match. Damn it. Damn it. If you're a pro, you need to fight longer than a couple of seconds, damn it. Listen to them whine. They're missing the point here. <laughs> but, hmm. I do think they haven't gotten some more. I think, I do think they should have gotten some more coverage. If they had slipped up any, if they had slipped up any, the coach would have threw them out since he was their second. But he let them be, so they must have been tough opponents. I don't think any other pair of boxers could have taken those champs to a draw. Attaboy, Japanese champ. You sure got away with words. <laughs> He's definitely looking at things differently. Than a certain greenhorn I know. <laughs> hey, your name's in here too, huh? Since my match against Miata Kun was postponed, I didn't think that there would be anything about me in there. Let's see now. Here's a match with enough excitement to blow away the disappointment of Miata versus Makanouchi being postponed. It's the highly anticipated junior lightweight title match at the Champion Carnival. Yep. Makanouchi, who has experienced fighting both men, gave us his insight into who might win their upcoming match. Hmm. Did you get interviewed about it? Huh? Come to think of it, he might have asked me about it during the conversation we had. He's like, that's certainly interesting. What did he say? You just know he said that his girlfriend's big brother is going to win it. It's like, oh yeah? I don't think that I'd say anything like girlfriend or big brother, though. And his prediction was that big bro has the advantage. Of course big bro does. <laughs> After taking a moment to consider, Makarauchi answered, Firstly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. That's not even a prediction at all. What the hell was that sitting on the fence crap? Don't let the media down like that. Put a little more thought into what you say. But, but, but I really don't know. I fought Mashiba-san at the Rookie King tournament. It's been a long time since then. And I'm sure he's stronger after moving up a weight class. He won the Japanese title and has defended it six times already. He's a lot more experienced now, so I can't see Mashiba-san losing at all. It's like, what the hell, man? So you should have just said that Big Brother definitely has the advantage. Why didn't you just say so then? Ippo says, I think Mashiba-san has a really good chance, but I think that Saramura-san does too. It was already really difficult to beat him when he was just a featherweight. And now that he won't have to worry about his weight as much, who knows how strong he'll be? Yeah, it really is hard to say. In his first match back, he beat the junior lightweight's fourth seed, 
by KO in the second round. It was a match in Nagoya, though, so I haven't gotten a chance to see it. But they say he's as fast as ever. Not only that, but that he's stronger as well. So he's kicked things up a notch then. But what I really don't get at all is, why is he fighting against Saramura Ruhe? Anyways, that's because all the junior lightweight rankers are pretty lame. Most passed on the most passed on the title shot, so he didn't have anyone to fight in the carnival for some time. But it was Mashabasan who requested a match, right? And why would he pick such a dangerous opponent? Yeah, he so could have given up the belt and moved on to the world stage by now. I know, right? Does he have something against him? Even if you ask me, hi, what could it be? Hmm, I can't think of anything, so I guess I'll just go ask him. What? Let's go, Itagaki. Nah, I was called on to spar with him. He said he wanted to fight against somebody that was fast. Ah, you should go ask Kumisan about it, senpai. She might know something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's give her a ring. Please don't call her without asking. Don't worry, I doubt she reads boxing magazines anyway. She won't lose any sleep over the fence-sitting comment that you made. <laughs> I guess so. Something against him, huh? <laughs> Straight up, she's like, I I read this. <laughs> like, ah. You mean the feature on Takamura-san, huh? Well... I guess he is pretty famous after all. It's like, it's like she's like, you didn't say that Rio was going to win. It's like, hmm, I'm not mad at you or anything like that. It's just that I've been really worried lately. He hadn't gotten in trouble at work lately, so I was hoping that he started to settle down a little. But what happened? I'll kill him. He's been saying things like that every day since the match was decided. It's like he's gone back to being how he was. He had gotten so much nicer, and things were so peaceful, and I'm just so very, very worried. Kumi-san, what's happened to Mashiba-san? Kumi-san, he's really being hurt by all this. What could compel him to go after Saramura-san this much? Ah, uh, so you called up people other than me? Figured it'd be too much for you by yourself. <laughs> hmm. In other words, sacrifices number one, two, and three. Quit your yapping and finish warming up, then get in the ring. I'll likely get knocked unconscious, so I should probably ask this now. The reason I picked Saramura? Well, just if there was anything, you know, particularly particular about him, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Like, you better not tell anyone. Please don't underestimate me. Despite how it seems, I know how to keep my mouth shut. And Mashiba says, I realize I was lacking something since the fight with Kim... Kimura. Since fighting with Kimura-san? Something that I that even I regret. You really better not tell anybody this. I wonder what it is. Ah. Okay. You really better not tell anyone this. Something he realized in the fight with Kimura-san? Okay. Mashiba's real goal. I let that little puke survive for so long, and he even got a down on me. That was a disgrace. It was my lowest point. How did this happen? How long had it been like this? So I thought about it, and I realized what it was. The guys I work with treat me pretty nicely, and the gym really de depends on me, too. That kind of stuff had never happened to me before. So naturally, you wanted a good fight to answer their prayers? Yeah, 
And since I was fighting with that in mind, I had become naive. Mm. I was supposed to not give a shit about others, supposed to crush whatever insect was in the ring with me. But this warm atmosphere had me lose something that I needed. That stuff I had built so much up, so much off, up, bruh. Get with the, get with the English, man. <laughs> like for real, that's that's just confusing. Inside of me, right? It was missing that stuff. Bloodlust. Okay. In front of our parents' grave, I made two promises: one that I wouldn't rely on or believe in anyone else. I'd rise up using my own two fists, and I'd put anyone who tried to stop me in the ground. Incredible. It's true, though. To regain something like that, he's the perfect opponent. Wait. You said that you made two promises that day. What was the other one? That anyone who lays a finger on my sister will pay dearly for it. Oh, and don't tell anyone. But I was hoping to tell everybody about it as soon as I got back to the gym. <laughs> that little puke. Anyone who lays a finger on my sister, I could never tell anyone now. <laughs> Hurry up and get in here. <laughs> yep. Sacrifice number one. Here I come. There was something after all. There was a reason for what he did. Makarauchi san. Uh, sorry, please excuse me. Mashiba san hasn't forgotten about what happened back then. He hasn't forgotten about how Kumi san got hurt. And there's no way he'd ever forgive him. I had forgotten that Saramura had hit Kumi. Like, I remember that now that he said that he said that I had forgotten. It's okay, Kumi-san. I'm pretty sure Mashiba-san is still just as kind as he was. But I'm sure the opposite is probably also true. Mashiba-san really cares about his sister. He'll enter the ring as her big brother. And inside of the ring, he'll be... A demon like no one has ever seen before. But if Mashiba-san is a demon, then that makes then that makes Aramura-san. Um, is there gonna be something? No, <laughs> they're just gonna cut it off. Okay. Failure weight control. Return to start. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> What's up with this game? I made it all myself, Danny. I've named it A Boxer's Life. I'm going to produce it and sell it to the kids at the base of the mountain. It's going to sell like crazy. Hell no. It won't. I've had to start over way too many times. The life of a boxer is tough. <laughs> Besides, kids today only ever play video games. No way they'd enjoy something like this. Me? This old far was thinking up little get-rich-quick schemes up in the mountains. What a tool. <laughs> Genchan would get the idea. Genchan would get the idea. Next time he shows up, I'll play with him. So tell me, is Genchan doing all right for himself? He'll probably end up throwing the dice at you. <laughs> yeah, still alive and kicking. If he wasn't, it'll be a big pain. Gonna take a bit of time before I can get him five or six belts. A present you risk your life to get? You sure it isn't a little bit too much? Uh, it's no big deal, really. For me, it's even easier than taking a big shit before breakfast. <laughs> Genshan has such a reliable surrogate son. Stop making a big deal out of it already. Ah, uh, so what's new in the world of boxing these days? Ha. Ah, the local TV doesn't cover it much, and my magazines haven't come l lately because of the snow. An interesting news. Any interesting news? The whole damn country's talking about me all the time. It's so tough, I can't even get any porno mags <laughs> without being recognized. I really don't mind the attention, but there are times when even I want to be left alone. That's why I go on all these trips by myself whenever a world title match is over with. Enough about you. I wanted to know about any recent boxing news. 
What about Makara Uchi? Ah, his match got postponed. That reminds me. There's this card between two small fry named Mashaba and Saramura. Both of them gave Makara Uchi a run for his money. Sure sounds entertaining. You think so? Why do you who do you think will win? They're both so strong. Probably Saramura. Okay. Hmm? They both lost to Ippo, but if you use Ippo as the measuring stick, then I'd say 7-3 in Saramora's favor. Okay. You seem pretty sure of that. Well, Saramora didn't just give Ippo trouble. In reality, he should have won that match. In round 4, when Ippo was groggy from taking the Dempsey counter, If he had tried to end the match without taking his sweet time about it, without a doubt, he'd be wearing the belt right this minute. I think it's time to come off this mountain. <laughs> what for? To see that match. <laughs> it sounds awesome, so I'm gonna go. You're a pain in the ass. Don't bother. I'm gonna go. I said don't. <laughs> Who do you think will win this thing? Don't know. As long as they destroy each other, right? Honestly, I kind of want Mashiba to win. There was word that the world came calling for Mashiba right before his match with me, but he couldn't accept how the match came out and turned the offer down. Or at least that's what a magazine said. So the reason he chose Saramura was as a test before heading to the world, because he wants to prove himself. If a guy I fought against can move up to the world and take the belt, then maybe I can hold my head a little higher. Seeing that guy who beat you lose would be quite the shock too. But putting all my feelings aside, my pre, my prediction is Mashiba will win. Having fought him myself, I know just how strong he is. He's beyond human. He's strong like a demon or something. Even if Saramura is strong, he can't win against a demon. Oh. What's up? Sacrifice number one is back. <laughs> Itagaki has been hanging with that demon for five days already. I feel sorry for the guy. He's probably half dead. Let's go ask how Mashipa is doing. If he can even speak at all, got that right. <laughs> Manabukun, your face. What's wrong, Hippo? Is Itagaki alive? He just walked in here asking if he's alive. Seriously, <laughs> you're... I brought the first aid kit. What? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Is there something on my face? <laughs> like, nothing is wrong with his face. It's like, nope. There's hardly anything at all. Hardly a scratch on him. Did you ditch the spar or something? I totally went. <laughs> it was troublesome every day, all by myself. By yourself? There were three of us at the start, but in the end, I was the only one who stuck around. We all thought you'd be ripped to shreds by those flickers. So how were you able to fight him by yourself and still come out clean? Hmm. You could say he was too tense or that I could see his punches or maybe even... Don't tell me Mashiba is... I really hate to say this, but Mashiba-san is just... If Mashiba-san is like a demon, then Saramura is like the devil himself. And if he fights against him while he isn't in his best condition... He can't win. Okay, so we're... Um, it's going to be a good match. You get what I'm saying? It's a match I want to see. It's going to be a good match. Um, I'm hoping that Mashiba wins this match. He needs to win this match. Um, he needs to win this match. He's not, you know, one of my favorite characters by any means. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not... You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I like his character development, even though he doesn't get a lot of screen time, if you will. Um, but I like his character development and what he means to the story, as in the way how he was versus how he is now. But he's trying to get back that edge. And sometimes you can lose your edge because of what? You get complacent, right? So that's, that's really what... Um, 
you know you want to avoid when you when you're on a roll when you're on a roll and you have a certain edge to you you don't want to lose that edge and he feels like he has lost that edge so i don't know how that's going to translate i think he's going to be extremely aggressive because of what saramura did to his sister and i think he's going to be aggressive over that but he also got to remember that he's in a fight he's in a boxing match it's not a street fight so um you know we'll see we'll see we'll see how things go i think saramura is a is a really good boxer mind you you know what i'm saying he's he's cocky and he's good he's good and as i said the match between um the match between ippo and saramura was a very good match to watch in the anime like it was it was that good you know what i'm saying it was one of those matches that you thought ippo was definitely going to lose um because of the dempsey counter and the, the, the Dempsey Roll counter, you know, where he was stepping back every time Ippo went into it, he was stepping back, and, you know what I'm saying, he stepped back so he could see Ippo and counter him. So, a lot of times in that match, you thought Ippo was going to lose, and, you know, Takamu was kind of spitting some facts there when, when he was saying that, you know, you, you know, Ippo should have, um, in some ways, he should, you know, if he had been more aggressive and not trying to punish Ippo, he could have won the belt, you know. But in any case, let's pause here, go for part two. Only one week left, just one, yep. Who do you think is going to win? I'm still not too sure. It should be a good one. I'm really looking forward to it. It's almost time for Mashaba San and Sarmore San's match. Okay, had a nice spread there. Are you done sparring against Mashaba San? Yeah. I went to hold 10 days with him, mano a mano. It was really tough. I'm relieved I made it out alive and in one piece. And in spite of that, you don't seem to have taken too many punches. So how's Mashibasan conditioning? Mm. I wonder about that. His punches are more clear than they were before, but you could see them. See those fast flickers. So what you're saying is Mashibasan isn't necessarily doing poorly, but that it's you who's... Uh, don't say anything about me having leveled up to anyone else. To anyone, please. I mean... I really feel like I'm just a rookie still. Ah, uh, come on. It's true that I'm a lot more used to flickers, more so than most people, but you know that look he always has like he's in a street fight, like he's trying to kill you or something, staring at that? Of course, I'm going to focus on avoiding them. You could say he's still getting psyched up or his bloodlust is just starting to boil. Guess he won't have to worry all that much then. Okay, actually, that's what worries me most. When he gets too tense, he starts throwing wide swings. And when that happens, if you really want to, you could connect really easily. Just like this. Crack! Why are you hitting the dog? <laughs> a counter cut. I was thinking that it's just a little too easy to aim for. That's terrible. Sarmura-san being a counter specialist and all, you got that right. I wonder what's up with Mashiba-san. I know he wants to move on to the world level, yet he seems to be really heated up over this. Actually, well... What the... Sarmura-san hit Kumi-san with a closed fist? Yep. Well, no. It didn't connect cleanly, but still, anyone who lays a finger on my sister will pay dearly for it. No wonder he's ready to kill someone. That explains everything, and now I'm pissed off too. God damn it, Samura. Raising his hands against Gumi-san? Unforgivable. We have to teach him a lesson. Teach him a lesson? But how? By cheering, of course. Cheering. <laughs> 
if even a single jab connects, I'm going to make a fuss like a right straight and hit him cleanly. <laughs> we'll control the atmosphere. We'll get the judges on Mashabas on side and make sure he gets all of the points. But I don't think this is going to end in a decision. If her brother loses, Kumi-san will be really sad. Isn't that right? And you don't want to see her like that, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> We'll draw the entire hall into a Mashaba chant. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mashaba, Mashaba, just like that. Mashaba, Mashaba, got it. I can't hear you, senpai. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mashaba, Mashaba. Put some more feeling into it. <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Saramura san. Oh, Ryue! Over here. What would what would you like? Hmm. Meat. <laughs> Meat. What is that? It's so tiny. Still have to worry about my weight even in a higher class. I see. I'm coming to cheer for you in your title match. I won't let you get lonely while you're away in Tokyo. I'll even start the Saramura chant up. Uh, okay. Your opponent, this champ named Mashiba, what kind of fighter is he? I think his standing after defending the Japanese title six times is that he's ranked eighth in all the world. Ranked eighth in all the world? That's just crazy strong. Oops. There's no way this man would ever admit that his opponent was strong. Yeah, he is. I'm going to prepare for the worst. Ryue, you, you have changed. Since your match with Makanouchi, you've seemed to calm down, and I haven't heard about you getting in trouble lately. You're even holding down your construction job. Hmm. It's kind of sad, though, to like, you know what I'm saying? And I know it's, it's it, it, this is actually how it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it has gotten better over the years, but this is actually how it used to be, man. Like, if you're not on the world stage, like, and even some boxers that are on the world stage still had to have jobs in certain countries. They weren't making, like, the boxing today, in some ways, you know what I'm saying, in terms of the, 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 the commerce of boxing, it's a joke. Let, let's just be honest. It's, it's, it's a joke. There's lots of money to be made in boxing. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the types of matches that you see in boxing right now. You know, you don't, you get, some of the times you do get the big matches. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, now when you have Mayweather, you know what I'm saying, about to go fight Logan, Logan Paul. Like, like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see one of the greatest boxers to ever put on the gloves fight an amateur a guy who literally has one fight under his belt as a pro boxer and he lost to ksi like you know what i mean it's crazy it's it's crazy like that's all for the money it's all for the money that's all mayweather is doing now is fighting for the money the the, the matches in i think it, the matches in march and there's no hype around it you know what i'm saying the other day we had Old ass Ray 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 Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson going at it. There were rules. There, I think there was no knockouts allowed or something like that. Mike Tyson out here throwing all body shots and stuff. Um, Roy Jones pretending that he's still fast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, entertaining exhibition match, no doubt. Um, you know what I mean? But when you have somebody who's Jake Paul who has been boxing for a good while now going up against Nate Robinson, that's that's a match like you know it was going to end in the d disaster. Everybody was calling it. Throughout the whole time when Nate was, you know, doing practice videos, he wasn't doing anything impressive. You get what I'm saying? He's slow. He was slow. During his, his, his sparring sessions, that, that the, the videos that I see, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was like, oh, he, he, he got the strength, man. He's got the speed. He's just not putting that stuff out there. And it's like, if you if you jogged for miles, you wouldn't be moving fast either. And I'm like, listen, man. 
it's obvious. I didn't expect him to get knocked the hell out in the ring, but I knew he wasn't going to stand a chance against some Jake Paul who has been in been doing this. I, I, I think he's been, he just recently became a pro too, but he's been boxing since for a while. And he and then he became pro. So it's a pro versus literally a pro versus an amateur. Nate Robinson needs to go sit his ass down. You know what I'm saying? Like you have and that that's the thing about it is like you can't play boxing, bro. Like boxing is not a sport you play. You don't play box you can play basketball. You can't play boxing. You getting hit for reels, reels. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So for me, I you know, I do, it's like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? I can definitely see that, you know, this was something. As I said, I don't know what it's like now, and it might be the same for boxers overseas that are not like, you know, you're not a, like a, you, you know, like if you're not from like Russia or like England or, you know, the U.S., you know what I'm saying? Like the commerce in, in, in boxing – I know that's in some countries, if you're not like on the big, biggest of stage, you still got to hold down a job and do boxing. And it has grown considerably, I I can imagine. I don't know what year Ippo is set in or, you know, the time period that it's set in, but I'm guessing that this was like, you know, somewhere earlier. It's not, it's definitely not in the 2000s because boxing became super popular and very, very considerably good because boxers were making uh, even back in like Sugar Ray Leonard days them boxers were making good really good money I mean I, I remember um Duran you know what I'm saying what's his name again dude that fought Sugar Ray Leonard and beat him and then he lost you know the famous Nomas um thing and I think I think, in my opinion, I think even in that match, I know I'm talking a lot here. Even in that match, I think that Durant could have beat Sugar Ray Leonard again because he beat them thoroughly in that first match. And it's just that he came to the match overweight. He was on drugs. You get what I'm saying? Like, the fame got to him. You know what I'm saying? He got so cocky talking about Sugar Ray Leonard's wife and all of this other stuff. Like... It was just it was just too much. I think if he stayed focused, I think he could have beat Sugar Ray again. But that's the thing. That's the thing about it. Like more, most most people is not gonna say that. You know, a lot of people is just gonna say, "Oh, Sugar Ray beat him the second time." But nobody's gonna talk about all that stuff that hindered him. He wasn't in the best. He wasn't his best of shape. And and this is no, you know what I'm saying. This is no in no way where I'm downplaying Sugar Ray Leonard's um, talent because he was. He's, he's top five for me ever in boxing, like of all times. He's top five for me, boxers of all time. Sugar Ray Leonard, you hear how Mike Tyson talk about him and all this other stuff. So he's top five for me. I'm not done playing his talent at all. I just don't, I just feel like he met his match, but his match didn't bring it. You get what I'm saying the second time around. He met his match in boxing, but his match, but it, but Durant thoroughly beat him in that first match like there's no question about it if you watch that match you know he beat him completely without a doubt that was his match but the second time around he showed up to the match he wasn't ready so that's what i'm saying like to know that you know there was money to be made even back then you get what i'm saying so i don't know what time period this manga is set in but I know there was a time when, when you know, boxers still had to have jobs in box. You know what I'm saying? Doing in pro matches. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, not so much. Most of these boxers, they sign huge contracts as pros, especially when they, when they become good. You know what I'm saying? So now, in, in terms of things, it's like it's all about the money now. So, yeah. Let's get back to this. So, I haven't heard about you getting in trouble lately. You're even holding down your construction job. Hmm. I don't really like that job too much. But, I don't mind the view up there. 
from high places people look like ants like you ought to be crushing them I think it's the same with boxing if you manage to make your way up you can enjoy a really nice view so I'm gonna work hard to get me that view from the top okay right now I really do want that belt with all of my heart work hard I've never heard Ryuiz say that before although he may still be a little warped but since feeling pain firsthand he's chosen to aim for his goal with hard work you can do this Rue. work hard and become the champion yeah I'll do it teach I've definitely changed since the Makanauchi match yeah yeah I learned something from him he taught me to go all out that's right that's it really if you torture someone all half-assed they might manage to resist you later so I'm going all out I'm gonna snuff him out using all of my strength huh you can't just kill him halfway because there's a chance they could revive that's what happened against Makana Uchi. If I really want the belt, kill him. I have to completely shut him down. Kill him. I'll kill him and pry it from his cold, dead hands. All right. <laughs> I'm home. Sorry I'm so late. I'll get dinner started. Oh, yeah. He's still on his diet. That won't help you out much. Should I make you some soup or something? Something low calorie, maybe. Come on, say something. Don't come to this next match. Don't come see it, Rio. I'm wondering if he's a little worried, you know what I'm saying? But, anyways, let's get to it. Before the storm, it's Aramura. The challenger is here. And the champion should be here shortly as well. Get ready to weigh in, please. Thank you. Listen, Saramura. Don't cause a fuss here like when you fought with Makanouchi. Starting a fight in the waiting room in the weighing room won't help you take to take the belt. He has the same air about him as before. Yes. Now Mashaba is here too. The champ has arrived. Okay. Hey, with the camera, keep your finger on the shutter, man. For the, for the second where the eyes of these two abrasive men will meet. They didn't look into each other's eyes. Jeez, nothing happened at all. So is Mashaba holding back or is Sarma being held back? Both competitors are within the, the, the weight limit. Can we get a word? How's, how's about a statement for tomorrow's match? Do you feel disadvantaged since the challenge is on your opponent's turf? Uh, wait a sec. Please save this for after the match. Give us a break here. I don't care whether it's at home or away. I just have to beat him, right? But I don't like the Korku and all, huh? Last time I was here, Makanauchi sent me off to the hospital. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. I'm going to tear the belt off him and be on my way home. He's beating around the bush a little, but that was just a KO prediction. The challenger is ready to go. That Makanauchi must have slacked off. Sent you to the hospital? That shit's too weak, because I'll be sending you to the fucking graveyard. <laughs> Talk that shit, Mashaba. Let's go. <laughs> he's like what a coincidence I was thinking the same thing <laughs> in the end their gazes never did meet not even once yeah that's probably why it felt so suffocating in there I've never attended an intense weigh-in quite like that one it's like the calm before the storm tomorrow night those two will meet eye to eye and then there's gonna be a tempest inside of that ring it sure is coming down now. I can't see shit in front of me. <laughs> what the fuck? It's only April, but there's a blizzard? 
How the fuck does weather work around here? Quit your whining and keep on moving. <laughs> or we won't make it for tomorrow's match. This is impossible. Let's go back. Our trail's covered. There's no telling how to get back. What the hell? But then, that means we're stranded. That's right. What are you fucking asking for? <laughs> how fucking depressing do you have to be to risk your life to see a fucking boxing match? Just keep moving forward, Danny. God damn it. I'm going to make it home alive. God damn it. Ah. <laughs> what? Okay. What's wrong, Ippo? You just suddenly stopped punching. Oh well, it's just I thought I heard someone screaming is all. Was it you? Nope. Are you so worked up about tomorrow that you can't get into the swing of things? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried about it myself. It is worrisome though, isn't it? At long last, it's tomorrow. Nice. Mashiboryu versus Samuaru. They even have a title card here. I'm guessing this is the purse. This must be the purse. Okay. Done. Alright, they're pouring in. Whoa. Check out that massive crowd. I guess they're gathering like it's a horror movie or something. Whenever something scary is going to go down, people will show up for it. They came for boxing, though. I'm sure of it. Those two are both high-level technicians after all. Technicians, eh? Wouldn't that only apply if the match turns out normally? Who cares if it's fear or a street fight? Either way, let's cheer for Mashiba-san. You want us to cheer him on? Hey, hey, give me a break. But there's no point unless all of us do it. So all together now... Till your throats dry out. <laughs> Real. 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 Rui. Here we go. Mashaba san. Come on. Mashaba, Mashaba, Mashaba. They're all really cheering for Mashaba. They out here. All right. Mashaba san. Mashaba, Mashaba. One, two. Mashaba. Y'all out here by yourself cheering for Mashba. So hey, enough with the cheering practice. We need to get inside before the main event starts. Yeah, looks like everyone is inside already. Hurry it up. Hold on for a sec. Ah, yo, Kumi-chan. Has it started yet? No, not yet. Came by yourself? We would have sent him if you'd only told us. Ouch. Actually, just now, I was thinking about maybe going home. Go home? Why? What a waste. You won't see a blood blight like this too often. It's like, you dumbass. That's why she wants to go home, man. <laughs> Anyone who lays a finger on my sister will pay dearly for it. You shouldn't go home. I think you ought to stay here and watch it, Kumi-san. Here, you can even have my ticket. And if Senpai's with you, you'll feel better, right? These seats are next to each other. But we might as well go and watch. Oh, okay. Man, those two are nothing but trouble. What's wrong, Itagaki? N nothing. We made it. <laughs> we made it alive. <laughs> I was worried for a while there. It was your fucking fault. Yours! Here comes the annoying one, and Oma Nekata is with him. Hey, it's my my, it's been a while. What's with the extra layers? Something happened on your trip back? Wanna know what fucking happened? I damn near died, is what the fuck I died. <laughs> died! <laughs> and if that rescue team hadn't been there right now, it'd be... I'd be... <laughs> what is he talking about? So has the match started yet? Crap, it's almost started. Hurry, hurry. Or else there won't be any seats left. Mashiba-san, asked you not to come here? Yes. He was never really the type to ask me to come and watch, but he looked really lost in thought. And I kind of, kind of have 
an unbearable bad feeling. It'll be just fine. Mashiba-san isn't going to lose. Let's cheer him on. And it'll help you blow away all your worries. But he's mis but he's mistaken this bad feeling has nothing to do with whether he's going to win or lose. And now we will begin the champion carnival junior lightweight title match. It's the same calm before the storm from yesterday's win. They won't be able to contain themselves once they get in the ring. Like a, this match will be like a raging storm. You guys ready for it? We'll start the Mashable Chant on tree. Yeah. Headed towards the blue corner. The challenger makes his entrance. Here he comes. He's coming. There he is now. It's Saramura. Okay, he got the dragon. Oh, that coat is fire. Anyways, the black dragon has ascended from hell and he is upon us. Through the ominous dark clouds which surround this ring tonight, those who would invoke his wrath will have their flesh and bones torn asunder. Both of his fists are like thunderous dragon fangs incarnate. It's the ultimate challenger, Saramora Reohe. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Impressive. Ryue, you can do this, Ryue. Someone's coming this way. It's got to be the champion. It's Mashiba. And now. The Reaper appears, rising from the netherworld. He crawls up the blood-colored steps as if he were climbing over the bones of his slain opponents. He drags along his left arm by his side his deadly sight. His death sentence is absolute, easier to rend soul from body, and is aiming to send someone to an early grave. The Lord of the Underworld, Mashiba Rio. Let's go. Boat fighters come to send the ring. Hey now, stop. I said stop. <laughs> they ready to go. Ooh, the headbutt. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get it. What a tense atmosphere. The hair is so heavy. What incredible presence. These two men alone have absorbed all the arena. Looks like it will be worth having risk our lives to see. Hmm. So anyway, <laughs> what happened to that Mashiba chant on three? He's so caught up that there's no way he'd be able to, able to now. Both competitors separate and head to their respective corners. The most anticipated match of all the champion carnival cards is the belt. All that's on the line are boatmen's very lives at stake here. Believe me when I say this isn't an exaggeration, not one bit. The faded bell is now just about to ring. All right, let's get it, man. Three more to go. This match begins the gateway to hell is open. It's a clash between two monsters. What in the world are we all about to witness, bear witness to in this match? I figured they'd rip each other as soon as the bell rang, but it ain't that way. This isn't a street fight, you know. Not a street fight, huh? Gonna wonder about that. Wow. Ah. I'm getting the flicker jab ready. Okay. Look, Mashiba's already. The Hitman style. Samur is matching his rhythm up with the timing of Mashiba's motions. He's definitely aiming for a counter. And both are masters when it comes to sudden strikes. They've got moves. That can cut people down in a single hit. You can't even blink or you'll miss it. Flickers and bullets. 
both have high level lefts and they'll probably get into an exchange with those first to see who will take the momentum. Samura is, Samura is a counter puncher. He's not making the first move. Soon as Mashibasan moves in a way, that'll be the signal for the match to start. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mashiba takes this first swing. There he goes. Woo! Samoa dodges. He gets in close. He's up in there. He throws a punch, but he but Mashiba blocks the punch. Samoa throws a right. Ooh, blocks it again. Mashaba blocks it again. Okay, okay. Flicker jabs. Ooh, Saramura is getting around the flicker jabs. Let's go. All right, he's dodging it like it's nothing. Damn. Ooh, Saramura gets in there. Saramura dodges. Damn, he's, he's dodging them flicker punch. Here comes a punch from Saramura. And Mashable blocks it again. Mashable tries to hit back. Sarmore blocks it. Nobody can get a clean hit right now. Just blocking, throwing punch. Ooh, and they back up from each other. Okay. All right. Well, what the heck happened just now? It was so fast that I couldn't keep up. I can't believe it. Sarmore slipped past the flickers. And tried to start an infight. That thing he threw right at the beginning was definitely the dragonfish blow. There's not a lot of room for rotation at that close range. And Mashaba has his left guard lower too. It's an attack that has all of his weaknesses in mind. So the question is how many times can he close in like that? He didn't even seem to care about the flickers that flew past him. He was ready to send a right cross to intercept them. It seems Sarmore has got all of his anti mashable plans well taught out, but he was able to defend against all of it. It almost looked to me like Mashaba was inviting him to come in close. Either way, it's only getting started up. At this stage, they're just sizing each other up. Hi, what a high level exchange. Wow. High level exchange, a means to close in. Okay, Mashaba is still ready. Amazing to think we get to see something this advanced. We're really lucky. Nanako chan is the amazing one. I could never cheer my brother on the way she does. I can barely even stand to watch. I'm sorry, I was being insensitive, really. <laughs> With maybe one or two exceptions, Everyone has got their eyes glued to the ring. Of course. They were even when it came to exchanges at middle range, but when they separated at that distance they're at now, the wide open range belongs to Mashaba. We've seen plenty of challengers get torn to shreds before being able to close in. Somehow, managing to make up for this distance is the key to beating Mashaba. It's a factor that helps predict the outcome of the match. The audience here tonight knows that as well. Samoa has some long reach too, but it can never compare to Mashaba. At that range, Mashaba is the only one who can connect. But you know, Samoa can see past those flickers. He's coming for you, Mashaba-san. Okay, Mashaba throws a punch. Samoa dodges. Mashaba, he's shifting up a gear. Mashaba is shifting up a gear. Faster flickers. But Samoa. Ooh. Did he hit Samoa? Those things will cut into you like some kind of snake sword. They're a lot faster than when he fought me. He needs to turn tail and try to get away. But where to? Mashaba is in the center of the ring. And there's nowhere that he can't reach from there. There's nowhere left to run. 
He's taking it up a notch. Ooh. And things are fast. I was totally wrong. This is different from when I was sparring with him. With this speed and sharpness, you can never slip in a counter punch. Samorasan can't even close in. This match is quickly becoming one sided. Ooh. Ooh, he gone. He slipped it. And he's coming in. Ooh. Here comes Saramura. From below him? That's as low. No, that's even lower than Ippo goes. Really? Bruh. He's closed the distance. Oh. He's like, yeah. I could get up close, my guy. I could get in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> He has a complete grasp on the height that the flicker can come in at. It isn't something you can guess at. Despite Mashaba going faster, he can follow. He can see. What incredible high side. Fitting eyes for a counter puncher. Mashaba backed off so he could start firing them again. He's coming after him, and he's going in there again. The flickers aren't working. <laughs> the flickers aren't working. All right. Final chapter for this session, guys. Let's get it. All right. The flickers aren't working. No way. Flicker, flicker, my ass. He's still just the left. It's not like it's a KO punch. Besides, I think he's letting him get through like he wants him to close it. He wants him to close in. Mashiba hasn't even brought his right out yet. Everyone who fights mashiba san struggles trying to close in on him. However, managing to get close doesn't mean that you're suddenly in the clear. It's there that the real hell awaits you. There he did it again. He's made it through another time. Alright. Thrown with his full body weight behind it. Get him to lower his head so that he could use a chop in right. This is what Mashaba was after. If he slips this, bro. Ah. If Oh, he's coming up with a punch, too. No, Sarmore was waiting for it, too. He's aiming at a counter. Neither one of them is hesitating. It's being thrown with killer intent. It's like he wants to destroy him. Ooh, both of them take hits. Ah. Ooh. Neither one connected. They both barely missed. So it's just the it's just the wind that's <laughs> that hit their face just now. Neither one connected. They both barely missed. Now it's Saramura making the first move. Saramura sans left. The bullet, so fast, it's able to cross that wide range with virtually no lead, lead in motion, and it's just as hard to dodge as the flicker. Ooh, them bullets, it's a screw blow, is left as high damage potential too. That isn't a normal jab, N not a <laughs> that isn't a normal jab. Even Senpai's forward momentum was stopped by it. Ooh, Mashiba how here dodging like a beast. Okay, he's cutting it close. No, he can't fully dodge. He'll be hit. Ooh, but he can block him though. He's blocking him. He blocked it. Mashiba is able to see those high speed punches then. Ooh, under flicker thrown at that range. Swain won't help him. Even if he steps back, he'll reach. A direct hit. Ooh, wait. He neutralized the impact by twisting his neck. I figured it's a right cross. He timed his right while he did that. Ooh. Okay. Another block. Ooh, Mashaba comes back in with a with a, with a with a cross. A crisscross. <laughs> okay. He can dodge that. They can't connect. Nobody can cadet. 
neither of them can connect. All right, guys, that is it for this session. Ten chapters. Uh, what is it? Is it six? I think it is six. Anyways, um, anyways, ten chapters. That is it. So this fight is going to be beastly. Who's going to get the first hit in? I don't know. I will see you guys next time for some more April reaction. Make sure you go back to YouTube to check out my review. I really do appreciate it. I know you guys just want me to read the manga, but I do appreciate you guys. If you go back to YouTube and watch my review on these 10 chapters, appreciate it. See you guys over there. All right, guys. This is very, this was very, these 10 chapters were fire. They were fire. Even the start of the fight and last, like I think it was the last four four chapters or three chapters, was really good. I liked it a lot. And I really hope that this fight is one of those. You know what I'm saying? Like, we were looking forward to it. I was, you know, I was looking forward to it. Um, you know, but I had forgotten that Saramura had hit Kumi. Um, you know what I'm saying? Back in way back when i was watching the anime i forgot about that you know what i'm saying but yeah man mashable versus Sarmore is on its way and i'm definitely liking it i had a lot to say um during those chapters stuff that i wanted to talk about but as i said before i want mashable to win this match and i'm and it's not necessarily because Sarmore, you know what i'm saying being disrespectful of how he used to be you know what I'm saying? But the two of them feels like they've changed in some way. But it's still the same. You get what I'm saying? Like, they've changed in some ways. Like, I like the character growth between both of these characters. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of the thing is, you know what I'm saying? As a competitor that you have to come to terms with is the fact that everybody can't win. You know what I'm saying? There has to be a loser sometimes. That's you. You know what I'm saying? And in, 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 in a sport like this, where it's an individual sport, and it's not a team sport, right? Um, it, it, it's to the point where you're looking at it and, you, and you're like, um, you know, because I'm the loser, you know, sometimes you can get out of that funk of being a loser. If you lose for the first time or, you know, You've lost matches because of your own ego or it takes time to get over that because the first thing you have to do is admit defeat. You have to admit that you were in a position to win and you didn't take advantage of it sometimes. So, you know, he said he learns a valuable lesson from fighting with Ippo is that he didn't go all out. You know what I'm saying? And it cost him the match. So let's see what, what he's like all out. out that's what I want to see. And it seems like they're very closely matched opponents. You know what I'm saying? Um, by sparring with Itagaki, it seems like Mashiba has developed some faster slip and move skills. You know what I'm saying? Where he can slip faster punches. Because Itagaki is that type of boxer. He's very fast. Throws punches very fast. Um, so that was really good. And he learned how to do that. So he can slip the bullet punches from Sarmura. Sarmura has also learned how to dodge flickers. So this is going to be a pretty even match. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know how many chapters it's going to last. But we are going to, to, to get through it. But anyways guys. When it comes on to this match. As I said I want Mashaba to win. That's who I'm cheering for in this match. Not because I don't like Sarmura as a character. Um, the introductions were fire by the way. Uh, I think this is the first time they've gone to the extent of giving them like a, a wrestling match introduction. Because usually you don't have these kind of introductions in boxing. You will hear, um, you don't really hear that. Not even with Michael Buffer when he was there. He used to do introductions, you know, in the blue corner and record it. They don't go into detail of, you know, calling them, you know, the demon from hell just slashing with the sight I, I like that because that's some wrestling introduction kind of stuff you know what i'm saying so that really was pretty cool i don't know if they used to do that back in the day in boxing because i've never really heard it before um you know you will have the you know the middle name like you you know mike what, what was it mike what they used to call mike tyson again like how they have um 
um, damn, I'm drawing so much blanks right now. Um, I don't remember. I know they used to do stuff back in the day, but it wasn't so extensive. You know what I'm saying? They would have like a middle name, like a middle name, like a Bronx Bomber, like, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, they'll have like some cute middle, like you had Sugar Ray Leonard, you know what I'm saying? Um, That's not his actual name, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Like his name is not, it's just that his, that was his nickname, Sugar. So, um, so that's what I'm saying. Like they have their nicknames, they say their nicknames, right? Um... But it, it sticks over time, you know what I mean? It sticks over time. Iron Mike Tyson, that's what they used to call him. Iron Mike Tyson, um, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, during the, inter the introductions were really good. I just wanted to point that out. It was fun saying it from the announcer's point of view. It was fun saying it for y'all. Um, I tried to do my best impression <laughs> every time for those introductions and, and the announcers for the fights. They're pretty good. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I'm rooting for Mashaba because, you know, I think he's had better character development in the in the show. And I, I just, I, I rock with him a lot better. I want him to win because um, if this is going to push him into the world stage after he beats Saramor, I'm all for that. Because we need to get another fighter to the world stage. Like, I, like we're not getting any world fights right now. And I want to get to the world stage. I'm tired of these if you will, uh, you know, amateur, the fights are good, but I want to see Ippo, Miata, um, you know what I'm saying, people like Mashaba that are really good fighters on the world stage, I want to see how they measure up, you get what I'm saying, because Takamura is, is just killing everybody, like I, you know, and his fights last two seconds, I need somebody else up there who's going to make a challenge, okay, and who will get longer lasting fights, for to get excited for it so love me some takamura but he's his fights are just they're too short <laughs> okay but anyways that's not his fault by any means anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you wherever you're watching this if you're listening to this as a podcast style on youtube i appreciate y'all for doing that and for it to, you know for the watch time to to be up because my watch time on my you know, is is not that great because most people go to the Google Drive to to watch the uncensored version. But I appreciate y'all, the the couple of people that do it here. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all, man. Leave a like, leave a comment. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace.